Hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we're starting a new Let's Play series in Civ 6 Gathering Storm. So spoilers for our AI-only championship series, but uh, anyways, it wrapped up yesterday with uh, a surprising victor. Gandhi was actually the one who ended up pulling it out, which was kind of hilarious because he was behind uh, for pretty much the entire finals, and then he ended up storming back uh, then in the last round, and then we ran a 1v1 between Gandhi and Chandra Gupta with Gandhi. Gandhi ending up pulling out the victory. So we're going to be playing as Gandhi today, which is exciting because I've not really played as either India's in quite a while. Really, I've not played, uh, uh, I've actually not played the game in a Let's Play in quite some time. It's been mostly just the AI only stuff. So um, I'm going to be a little rusty for sure. We've done a couple live streams, but with the move and everything else, just really hadn't had a lot of time to play, actually play Civ 6. So I'm excited to play the game. Uh, been definitely kind of itching to play it the more we've been doing the AI only series. So I'm I'm excited for that. Uh, is there anything we really want to do here? We should do abundant, but I think I'm just going to do shuffle. Um, we'll do a balanced start position, even though I really don't think it has any effect on anything. And we're playing as Gandhi, and I think everything else is going to be fine, right? Yeah, it's been a while since we played. So my plan is to go for a religious victory. Um, basically, I've kind of gotten down to the point where I only do two victory types at this point, and it's religious and science. And the reason for that is culture. It just gets a little annoying and a little long, um, especially with the rock bands and music over and over again. It just gets kind of like, eh. If I had a fader for the volume on the rock bands, I would probably do it. Like, if I could turn down the rock bands, I could probably go ahead and um, I would probably be a little more apt to play cultural victories in the future the other thing is what i need to do is i need to actually look into the game files because i'm sure you could probably just replace the sound effect and actually put like some interesting sound effect in there instead of the actual rock band music but anyways that's a whole nother story diplomacy i don't mind necessarily but it's kind of annoying at times and it can be almost impossible to win on certain gameplays and then score victory you know no one ever does score victory and so that's all the different victory types right am i missing one let's see uh score science culture domination uh, oh domination yeah I don't mind domination but eh eh so this kind of actually sucks yeah this isn't a great start for us simply because I, I mean here's the thing we got a potential really sexy canal going so I can't really hate on that the issue is going to be whether or not there's something on either of these tiles. I think immediately we're going to want to settle on the amber and get a little bit of extra culture. Um, the other thing is we could settle on the deer. Now it's a bonus. Is deer one of the bonus resources that disappears? I don't remember. But actually what would be really great here would be to settle the deer and then do Temple of Artemis. That would actually be a crazy good Temple of Artemis here because we have all of this right here. Um... Are we going to try rushing that out? I don't know. The other options, we could come settle here so we can actually be on the coast. But I... Nah, nah. Well, technically, this might be coast as well. I think I'm going to just go settle here. We just don't have any hills, which is kind of what sucks. Uh, Stonehenge can't, has to be next to a stone yeah so we could build stonehenge here if we so choose so here's the biggest issue religion can be a bit difficult to get to god man no production whatsoever i think i think we'll live with this yeah no production though man oh crap we have the auto turn that's what's happening i was like wait a second that should have been quick uh, auto intern we had that turned on from the ai only series all right i think this is fine i think this is fine 40 gold eh. Dude, what the heck? All right, this is going to be a bit of a weird one. So normally, I immediately go animal husbandry into archery just to survive. Um, but we're going to do a little bit more of an aggressive play. And um, normally, if I'm... Okay, so I usually have two build orders. Build order one is we go animal husbandry into archery. I build out a, uh, a warrior or a slinger first. Um, usually, sometimes a slinger. And then I try grabbing the boost for archery. The other build order is I go astrology first. Then I build a scout and hope that we actually find a, uh, a natural wonder so we can boost it just so we can get a religion in time i've been basically kind of avoiding that one for the longest time just because the uh ai especially barbarians has been just so aggressive recently it's really really hard to actually get that one successful um so we're going to kind of do a hybrid we're going to do astrology but we're still going to do the warrior so the idea is to pop out three warriors as quick as possible because if you can get three warriors early game the ai usually doesn't declare on you so there's valetta city state that's good are we the first one to meet yes so that means there's no ai over there so i'm happy with that so that means we probably want to send this warrior down there we're gonna have decent food early empire boost that is really nice yeah that's a really really nice early empire boost 
Because that one can be kind of hard to do, right? What's early empire? What's the normal boost? Six pop? Eh. Eh. Maybe. 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 It depends on how many seeds we can get out. Okay, so I don't have to worry about barbarians this direction, which is nice. Because Valletta's there, they should take care of any barbarians. So I'm going to send you down here with our other warrior, and we'll see what's down here. Um, we are size 2, so what we're going to end up popping out is we're going to go ahead straight for the settler. Usually as soon as we get to size 2, we will pop out a settler. The idea is to get faith here as quick as possible, so hopefully we can get the Pantheon and get a free settler. I know it's not technically a free settler, but it's a free it's settler. So. We actually have an island to ourselves. Oh, okay. Maybe. All right, I take back everything I said about this start. If we have an island to ourselves, I'm fine with this. This is going to be great. Uh, give me plus one faith, so in 25 turns. Hopefully, this gives us a faith boost. I generally like settling somewhere that gives you faith, but mm. we should look at India. All I know is the Varu off the top of my head. So we receive follower beliefs in a city from each religion that has at least one follower. We get amenity for each religion with at least one follower. Missionaries have plus two spreads, 100% religious, pressure from trade routes. Now, we generally, when we're going religious, don't do missionaries just because I would rather have a bunch of apostles that have upgrades and can uh, kill missionaries really easily. So probably not going to use the missionary one a whole lot early game. Gandhi gets plus five faith for each civilization they have met that founded a religion. Okay. Then Varu is just absolutely dominant early game. And then Stepwell gives us food, housing, and plus one faith. What do you need for this? Irrigation. Okay. We're not going to be able to get it right away. That's fine. We did get the plus five before we attacked, right? I think I did. I think I did. Stay there. I was debating whether or not I wanted to move there or there, but now we'll stay here. Um, yeah, it looks like we have an island to ourselves. I will go ahead and take the attack and then we'll heal up next turn and We'll chill here and heal for a little bit. I do want the promotion here. Yeah, so we do have an island to ourselves, huh? It's not a particularly great island But we're doing religions, so we don't really need a particularly great island I'll heal one more turn and then we should be fine He's already um, fortified plus then he's got the ideal terrain which is kind of making this a bit of a problem, but there's our level, so we'll have him killed here pretty quick. Yeah, yes, plus seven. He'll be dead next turn. We'll go explore up here. Valletta's nice because it's helping to pop out settlers a little quicker, which is great. We'll be able to get our city full. Uh, sorry, um, our whole area taken care of here pretty quick. I do really like the idea of Temple of Artemis, which means we're going to have to go knock out um, archery. So astrology's two turns. Animal husbandry won't be boosted. I don't think we can get the slinger boost. I just don't see that happening. Yeah, I just don't see that happening. Where are we going to put our second city? I would like to put it potentially somewhere with hills or at least production. So we could go up here, go on the grassland hills. That's going to be a 2-1. These are all grassland hills, which is just really crap. But at least we'd have different, decent production. The other options, we could go over here for all the sugar. Man, all of this is going to be that Temple of Artemis. Golly, man. <laughs> it's going to be a killer Temple of Artemis. It's not just the one city, right? It's any amenities. Any amenities? Not Temple. Temple. Oh my god, I can't spell. Temple of Artemis. Each camp pasture plantation within four tiles of this wonder. Yeah. That's going to be a crazy good one. So we need a builder. I think we have the money here pretty quick. So we'll need to go build the deer as quickly as possible. Uh, which we'll be able to do with animal husbandry. And then we should hopefully get the Temple of Artemis. The other places for a city would be down here. There's not really production down there. I think I am going to put a city up here. We'll have to see what this looks like. But um, this also is a potential. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Two turns. We're definitely going to go north with him, though. Um, I am going to keep this guy down here, though, just to keep vision away from barbarians or keep the barbarians at least from spawning. Probably right there is going to be a good spot. He may a spawn down there, but that's not into the world. That's going to keep vision on everything but that tile. So that's fine. Another barbarian encampment up here. And actually, yeah, this looks like a pretty sexy spot. So these are both Plains Hills, which is great. We have a potential harbor there. Yeah, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Your size two again. We need that holy site because astrology just finished. 
We have no boost on holy sites. We will have a harbor here. Do we want to go Stonehenge? 24 turns. Man, on deity, the chances of getting it, I just, I don't, I don't believe we have a chance. I really don't. I just don't. So we'll have a harbor here. Industrial zone potentially here. Eh. Not really good industrial zone. Uh, we'd put a culture site here because of Artemis. So then maybe here. Because culture site, Artemis. Harbor? That's three. That doesn't really help unless we did like a... Yeah, I still think I'll put him here. It's going to flood, but that's so far away. I'm not really super concerned. I kind of like the idea of doing a, a science build as well. Kind of doing a, uh, a science... cult. Uh, sorry, science faith build, but we'll see. We'll see. Are we going to take this fight right away? Yeah, we don't want a river cross. I thought about going there to block the scout in, but we definitely don't want the river cross. You need to chill and heal. You're going to come up this direction. We got to be careful that um, this guy doesn't kill our dude. Or uh, this guy doesn't attack us or take our settler. Hopefully he goes somewhere different. I might need to send you up here just to help. An archer would be great. Okay, so you're dead. He should suicide, but without having vision on me, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to skip one turn. And we'll see where he ended up. Okay, he doesn't have... Yeah, we're fine. He can't reach me. We'll probably end up wanting to conquer Valletta at some point, too. Uh, I will attack you. He should suicide into me because his encampment's gone. It looks like we're going to put a harbor right here. Or sorry, a city right here so we can get the harbor right there. I like that. I have a potential desert tile here that I guess we could do the Jebel if we so wanted. Um, although I can never get the Jebel out in time, but, you know, whatever. Uh, combat strength against barbarians, sure. We still don't have our 25 faith, so we gotta roll. Probably could argue that we don't need the combat strength against barbarians, but, eh, it's fine. So, once again, come back to your one spot here to protect against barbarians. We're gonna have the city here, so we could... Mm, probably move you this way, but actually let's do this. Let's go and explore over here and see what happens. I would like to become Suzerain of Valletta. That would be nice. Then again, we could also farm Valletta if we so choose. What's Valletta's Suzerain bonus? I don't ever remember. Ooh, villains can be bought with faith. I forgot that. So we could buy walls with faith. Uh, hello, Teddy. All right. <laughs> Teddy's in our game. I am not at all shocked. Uh, throw your city down. And you want to do Holy Sight Prayers. I've been kind of convinced recently that Holy Sight Prayers works a little better than trying to get um, the passive points per turn. No one has a religion yet. Someone is gaining two points per turn. Uh, we're going to be making one. We need to buy our... God, we still need Temple Artemis, but we're 12 turns away. So, uh, buy our builder. Let's go get our camp. We can't do the stone yet. Still, that's going to be a 2-3. I'm trying to remember how that works. Then here, I actually would love... I'll do a trader. What I would really love to see would be a galley out of here. So we can get the era score. But this is actually okay. I don't mind a dark age, especially this first one. We might want to try getting the dark age. Because the next era, we're going to have the Varu. We'll have the step well. We'll have a galley. We could easily get a heroic age. So I actually think that's maybe something we want to do. And a potential Temple of Artemis. Yeah, that might work out really well for us. So we don't want to meet Teddy. Which we're almost certain this is Teddy. I suppose it could be France too. I would prefer Teddy over France. The thing is we're on a different island, so I'm not really worried about them declaring war on us. So we should be fairly safe. No matter what happens. Um... Looks like we're going to get the second religion at this point. Unless someone finishes Stonehenge. Then we'll get third. There might be more room over here. We also want to keep popping out settlers. Next turn we're going to get, hopefully, our free settler. Hopefully. What if we missed out on that one? Well, 
F. <laughs> basically. Basically. I'll go prepare for the Grassland Hills. We could also use you to get some vision right now just to keep barbarians from spawning, but eh, it's fine. It's fine, he says, as 16 barbarians spawn on top of him because that's always what happens. Oh, I should have moved through your territory. Now, nah, not a lot of room over here. Dang. 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 Okay, so we won't get the slinger boost, so we're gonna have to do it the long way, which is fine. Why did- there we go. I was like, where was our pantheon? Uh, Someone stole it. Frick, are you kidding me? No! Oh, that sucks. Okay, that one's annoying, man. That one's annoying. River Goddess potentially would have been good here. Crap. So then what about Monument of the Gods just so we can get Temple of Artemis? Temple of Artemis, what other monument would we be going for early? Great Both? Eh, probably not. Petra? I mean, sure. Jebel? I mean, sure. Potentially. Any other wonders? The mausoleum? Perhaps. The temple here would be great. Actually, that would be great. Gurus get plus five strength in religious combat. Wait, gurus do religious combat? Have I never noticed that? I've literally never built a guru, so. What about the Watt? Eh, it has to be adjacent to... No. No. I, mean, I don't know those are ancient wonders anymore. So at this point, it's probably between Monument of the Gods and Divine Spark. Quarries, we're only going to get one right now. Uh, Strategic resources, no. Food and production from camps. Deer is a camp. I don't think cattle's camp. I think that one is the pasture, yeah. Love you, babe. Have a good day. You too. So that would then be a 3-3-2. Three, three, are there any other potential camps? Yeah, horses are camps, right? Or are they pastures? They're pastures. So that doesn't really work then. Uh, plantations. I mean, we have a lot of plantations. I just don't care about it. God, I can't believe they stole it, man. <laughs> Freaking heck, man. All right, that's fine. Let's go, uh, let's do Monument of the Gods. Because I think getting... The thing is, is India, I really am not going to have amenity issues because we're going to meet all these different religions and they're going to passively send the religions to our city and life's going to be fine and all, but still. Also, can we talk about how terrible placement this is for Valletta? Like, what the heck? That's a terrible city placement. All right. Sure, you do you. You do you. So we're good to go on Temple of Artemis. We just need to finish. You know what would be good? Buying the shrine, 280. We do have... uh, We do have this that we could sell over to Teddy. Uh, but we just need to wait 10 turns for next era. That's our goal. Yeah, keep exploring. Let's come all the way over there. That's fine. You're going to essentially just chill here because there's nothing for you to do at this point. And then, yeah, you're just chilling here as well. So we don't want to meet anyone. We want this Dark Age. We don't want to get Accidental Error Score. So I don't think there's anything we can do to get Accidental Error Score at this point. So let's just advance the game. We have a really baller heroic gauge coming up. I mean, it should be fairly easy to get this heroic gauge. I, I can't imagine anything stopping us. <sighs> Two turns. What was our boost? What are we looking at now? We're at 33. We're actually in first place. 420 points. That's going to be a little more than we can find. Um, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Although we might switch over to Temple of Artemis. I also really want to be popping out settlers right now. But then again, with an island all to ourselves, I think we're fine. Past. I think we're okay. Uh, new government. We have the face, so we can go production to all cities. Yeah. And I'm going to grab the production towards naval units. Because we're going to want that next era. And we're going to go straight for political philosophy. May the forces of...
Definitely not gonna be doing an early aggression at all. Uh, I'm gonna send you to Delhi so we can get the extra production for the wonder. You come over here. Delhi, the question is, do we wanna switch over to Temple of Artemis? 19 turns. I think so. 19 turns, man, even with that. Uh, okay, so we need mining first. Then we want sailing so we can get the galleys. That's gonna be... Could potentially buy this for one production. Don't think that's worth it, though. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. You're actually going to grow the cattle, which we can go grab a production from there, which I think I'm good with. I don't think we're going to lose a religion. We're only making one per turn, so essentially we're 25 turns away right now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to finish this holy site prayer because that's going to guarantee us a religion. So I think that's where we need to go. Um, I definitely want a holy site. This is on planes. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We want as many holy sites as possible. We're going to want holy sites in every city. So uh, easy enough. I'm going to let you deal with any barbarians up there. And I'm going to send our guy over here, essentially. I'll put you there for now. I don't know why it's blocking. Uh, man, only one production that way, but that's fine. Trader out. Get a little bit of boost. You're gonna grow here pretty quick. And you're gonna come over here. Cool. Mining three turns. I think this was one turn. Two turns. Ugh, dang it, because mining's right there too. Oh, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. 14 turns there, two turns to not get any era score and then we're good to go. Nine, uh, 16 turns down the Temple of Artemis. Nice. Why do we save turns, I wonder? Oh, that one extra production saved three turns. Dang, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I didn't think it was going to have that big of an impact, one production, but sure. So then that means that should knock out another three turns, theoretically, right? It only knocked out one turn. <laughs> okay, I kind of thought you'd knock out more turns, but whatever, whatever. You're still working the 2-2. Two -two. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, you come over here, go over there. Two turns left, one turn left. Got that Dark Age, let's go. I don't think Patna will flip. Well, we hadn't met them, so until we meet them, we're actually not getting loyalty pressure. Um, there is a chance that it could be flipping, though, because of all these guys. We do have Governor, though. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we want to go straight for Ping? Or actually, Mashka? I've never done an early Mashka. I want to do an early Moshka. Yeah. Yeah. I've never done one. I think it's worth it, though. I think it might be worth it. What, what do we end up with the religion, by the way? So no one still has a religion. We are eight turns away. We will definitely get a religion. Probably the third one. Uh, we got that Dark Age, which is beautiful. Let's do Founded Religion, because that's going to give us the most points. You're going to come over there. You're going to come over there. And now we want to meet people. We want to build galleys. You're going to build a galley probably as soon as you're done there. Um, then we're also going to want to get to our Varu, which is located up here with horseback riding. Oh, all right. That's fine. It's just usually I don't knock out horseback riding that early. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We would like to actually send you a trader out, Teddy slash France, whoever you are. Boost, boost, nice. Um, I don't know if that saved us any turns. 10 turns, we should have it. Temple of Artemis is kind of hit or miss, but I'd say 90% of the time it doesn't get built by the AI, so I'm not super concerned about losing it. I think we'll be okay. Hopefully the trader and Valletta is going to keep any barbarians from spawning over here. Actually, might take you around here just to get a little vision because we really didn't run along the coast here. And you know what? Same thing. Let's go grab vision here on that coast. Hopefully, barbarians don't spawn while we're doing this. Uh, one turn there, eight turns there. Uh, we still got a couple turns left on our religion. It is not that light. Saline is done. Beautiful. So let's queue up the galley, please. Uh, where's our step well? Probably in here. Uh, irrigation, right? Yeah, irrigation. So we're going to want irrigation then soon. Now? Do we need irrigation for that? 
Now we can go straight back to horseback riding. We're boosted on it right now. We hadn't farmed a resource. Might buy another builder. Yeah, I think I am going to buy another builder here. Because we could grab that plus then the pearls and the fishies. And meet this person. Probably a good idea. So then we can farm a resource. Okay, so let's go irrigation into horseback riding. Uh, I'd like min maxing, but we actually we played that whole game where we uh, did the challenge where we didn't grab any boost the entire game. We basically avoided every one of the uh, scientific boosts, and we basically won the game about the same time. So the boosts don't necessarily. I mean, they can help you, but it's not super necessary. In this game, in which we're not going to have as much science, it might be a little better, but. Um, were we the first one? No, we're actually the third one. Okay, that's fine. We got a religion, though, and that's all that matters. Okay, what is our religion gonna be? Um, you know, normally I do a Jeff religion. Maybe we should do a Parker religion for my puppy. Um, there's no dog, though. You know what? We're gonna call this, uh, Big Brother Jeff. <laughs> uh, there you go. Just my reindeer. Uh, and then we're going for the religious playthrough, so... Royal Quarries is nice, although we don't have any yet. Shrines give food. Eh. Shrines and temple give housing. We're going to be so good, probably, on amenities and housing. They provide culture, plus one production. I'm not really a huge fan of any of these. You know, our production's absolutely terrible, so I think I am going to take ortho work ethic, even though I think this is one of the weaker ones in the game. And then I need the cheaper purchases. Yeah, there you go. This one's holy order is almost a necessity. I mean, you can win religious victory without it, but there's no reason to ever not grab it, just because it's so nice. So what we're going to want is we're going to want temples. So we're going to need to get over here to theology so we can build a... Oh, I wonder about the this temple. Build woods adjacent to a holy site. I mean, possible, possible. Does the AI build it before us? I would think so. Ah, we didn't get to meet you. Dang it. Hopefully, he's gonna be at war with someone else, and so he doesn't really ever notice us and or care about us. That would be nice. All right, there's our builder. Go grab the farm, and then we're going to go into the water. You're just going to chill and heal. Pottery. Um, you know, I should chill you there. That'll be fine. And then you're chilling there still. Cool. Yeah, we got a really good setup here. We're a little behind, especially because we didn't get that free city. That free city would have been so helpful. Temple of Artemis is going to be wonderful for us. It's going to be just wonderful. Um, just because we're going to basically never need to worry about amenities. Now, I obviously, I got to actually get these other ones, uh, get amenities on these, but, you know, you know someday. We may want to save the Varu, because we're going to get a Golden Age here anyways, probably. Oh, Scotland! Okay, buddy. Well, he wasn't going to declare on us anyways. There you go, man. Take my delegation. Let's be friends. Okay, then. Do you have anywhere I can settle up here? <laughs> because, let's just be honest... Uh, he's not going to declare on me, so we could totally take his territory if we so choose. Uh, I need to start popping out settlers. The granary is nice. The shrine. Oh, wait, no. Missionary. Yeah, let's grab the shrine for the missionaries. And, ooh, hold up. Hold up. Uh, we got to wait a turn. Okay, so then in that case, let's do this. Start on the settler. I might end up buying the shrine. I might have enough amenities I can trade with him. Same thing here. Go ahead and grab a shrine. He doesn't have a lot of loyalty pressure over here. I'm in a dark age. Okay, he does have more loyalty pressure. Eh, he doesn't have a lot of loyalty pressure. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, we do have a religion. Are you flipping because of the religion, actually? It doesn't have... Oh, no. It is Big Brother Jeff. Oh, snap. How did that happen so fast? Well, that was plus four error score. Dang, dude. <laughs> we are flipping. Okay. I like it. Ooh, he does have potential area over here we can settle. Um, may have to wait till we get the heroic era, but that's fine. I think I'd still rather have this versus theology. Um, just so we can grab. You know, I might actually do classical republic. 
I think oligarchy is almost... Ah, Mexico City, why? Ah, dang it. I usually say oligarchy is a must-take. Even if you're not planning on warring just because of the off chance that the AI declares war on you. But with Scotland, well, with us having an island to ourselves and Scotland being our neighbor, I don't think we have to really worry about that. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty okay. Uh, I think I'm going to build a mine for production. Come on, give me some land. There we go. The Lacha. So Scotland did uh, uh, find that. Oh, oh, we forgot to trade. Hi. Open bulletins. Really? And he has both of our amenities. Freaking hell. So we can't make money off of it. So then in that case, switch up. Give me the shrine. Actually, if you have Big Brother Jeff, I don't need the shrine there. Yeah, you can keep building it. We'll build the missionary there. We can buy the missionaries there is what I'm trying to say. All right, promote. We want to get here. Really what we want is patron saint. Chances are we're not going to do a lot of fighting, so I think laying on hands is our best bet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put you to Patna. A, that's going to fix the loyalty. B, it's going to start spreading over here. Uh, should also start spreading here to Vleta, too. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Mo and Joe. Nice. So that means double city states up here, which means Scotland doesn't have a city up here, which means loyalty should be good. Okay. We good. We are meeting lots of people. We are getting lots of error score for that. Varu's popping out. As I said, we may hold off on the Varu. We can also build a step well, too. We'll need another builder at some point, but... Um, we still got plenty of time. More cities potential over here. We can't get in water yet, so that's okay. We're at 31 minutes, so I should wrap this episode up here. Should. But man, it's nice playing this game, dude. <laughs> It really is. Every time I've live streamed this game recently, we've gone like an extra hour and a half just because it's like, God, I love Civ. It's a fun game. I have a thousand hours in it. I'm still freaking finding it like addicting. I will say, I would say, that, oh no, Japan. No, 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 dang. Japan's not someone you want to meet in a game. Crap. Still no loyalty here, so Behold they don't exist the near. That's a problem, though, because they're going to want a city over here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We got a shot here. How's Scotland not like us? Apparently, we still haven't gotten the trigger yet for not being at war with our friends. Or our neighbors. So we need to get a city over here as quick as possible. Because with Halong Bay here specifically, the AI is going to probably try making a beeline towards it. This spot right here is going to be an awesome city. Um, and then we could settle over here, right? So I'm thinking originally we want here... Because we want to put a harbor here. And then probably a holy site here. Yeah, 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 because that's next to the natural wonder. Yeah, exactly. A uh, holy site there. Then we wanted a city in one of these two tiles. Probably on the Plains Hills. I'm just going to guess. Um... I don't think we'll forget this, but I'll just go throw it down. Some people love tax. Other people don't really like it on the screen. Some people hate it because I generally forget to le uh, remove the tax. So whatever. We'll just put a few down for now. Hmm. 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 Bandar's over here. No loyalty issues, though. So that's good. Hey, will you trade me now? So first turn, generally the AI doesn't want to pay you for open borders. Or like second turn, they will offer it a lot cheaper. Now... Theoretically, I should get a lot of gold from this, but that's not the case. Is this really worth 150 gold? 180 gold? 160. 170. So like 165. That's going to put us at 185-ish or 190. 260 is the second galley, which boosts this out. How long to build? 
five turns. Nah, we'll just build it then. Yeah, we'll just build it and probably buy another settler. How many turns to get over here? Nine turns. I, 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 I think it's worth it. I think we go straight that way. And we'll go by land and then we just need to get a city over here as quick as possible. So, uh, I didn't finish my thought earlier, but I don't like seeing Japan in games because Japan's really freaking good. They probably have one of the religions too, don't they? Buddhism? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they just get so many bonuses, especially on this particular map. There's a lot of coastal cities, so this is going to be a little scary. We could pop out a, a, a galley in two turns. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. Let's just knock it out here. I don't need the shrine, and then we'll go back to settlers. Uh, we might want to switch. Well, we have uh, political philosophy popping out, so we'll be able to get the production and then the boost towards settlers here pretty quick. So let's do one more turn. I wanted to see if anything here showed us any extra loyalty. No, you're going to come up here. Scotland and us should be friends here pretty quickly, which is great. We most likely will be able to do this entire game without a war declared on us. Because the thing is, Scotland will be our ally. We kind of want to rush out allies then, just so we can keep Japan from declaring war on us. Um, their agenda is to have strong military and faith and culture output. That are strong in military, but weak in faith and culture output. So we're not going to have the strong military, but we are going to have faith output. Is that going to change anything? Will that make them like us? I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see. But anyways, for now, we're going to wrap this first episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everyone.